The people of Argentina have clearly stated that it supports its government's battle against the vulture funds. Acá lo que está de fondo es que el imperio, los Estados Unidos quieren... Here the background is that the Empire of the United States wants to continue to demonstrate that it dominates the region, that it dominates the world. In some parts of the world, it dominates by missiles and bombs, as in what is happening in Palestine. Because the Zionist state is clearly supported by the government of the United States. In this region, they don't want to lose or they don't want to try to recover what they have lost over the last decade of popular and progressive governments. Over 10,000 people from a wide range of political, social and cultural backgrounds packed the historic Luna Park Stadium in Buenos Aires on Tuesday to demonstrate their support. The rally is not the only evidence indicating the high levels of support towards the government. Surveys over the past two months demonstrate that Argentina's president, Cristina Fernandez, has the support of more than half of the population. This is a dispute that Argentina has fallen into and against the heart of the financial power of the world. It has to be sustained with lots of popular organization. Surveys also demonstrate that 51% of Argentines believe that US judge Tomas Griesa, who is in charge of the vulture funds versus Argentina, is acting with bias. Griesa can rule whatever he wants. What he can't do is ask us to commit suicide, and we will never do that. That is why we are strongly supporting the president of Argentina in this conflict, which we understand that today is a global cause. The goal of today's rally was to create even more awareness amongst the Argentinian people, stressing that what's at stake in this battle against the vulture funds is the future of the country. The popular support is a clear indication that the people of this country are not prepared to give up the fight against the same financial speculators which placed Argentina into economic disarray in the first place. From Buenos Aires, Lionel Poblete Coduti, Telesur.